what's going on guys this is easy breezy so in this video i'm going to be talking about my surgery complication like what the fuck it all started when i was still in miami right so probably like three days after i was at my massage like my third massage and the doctor came inside and he was like you know how you doing blah 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 is everything okay and i was telling him yeah so he was like you know you lost more blood than normal like normal people and i was like why me <laughs> you know what i'm saying like why me and he was just saying how like um my previous surgery I had surgery on my back because I have scoliosis. I had surgery on that like 11 or something. Was that 11 years ago? Yeah, like 11 years ago. And um, I didn't know that that was going to affect my surgery now, like a whole decade later. But he said that it did affect it. He said some parts of my body, he couldn't liposuction because I had too much scar tissue on my back. And it was just, it was just a lot going on back here. So he said I lost a lot of blood, but I was like, you know, whatever, I feel good. And um, I'm just gonna keep eating, keep drinking water and just heal. That's all I can do. Probably like four days after my surgery, four or five days, I brushed my teeth, right? And my teeth was kind of hurting, but I was like, kind of ignoring it. And then once I put the mouthwash in my mouth, my teeth, were like ringing it was like a sharp electric pain coming from like my teeth my gums and i was like bruh, bruh. and i spit it out and i'm like bro why does my teeth feel so sensitive like if you guys know the feeling of biting an ice cream <laughs> and having that sharp pain that nerve pain kind of shoot from your teeth and that's how it felt right so i'm like you know my teeth never really been sensitive like this so what is going on but i was like you know what maybe this is like one of those things that's just gonna come and go away growl so i go home and my teeth are sensitive to everything to uh, cold to hot foods, cold foods, and even wind. Like when I talk, I couldn't even really talk for a long time because every time I breathe in, wind would like brush past my teeth and it would hurt my teeth so bad, I would have to close my mouth every time I was having a conversation. It was so hard to laugh. It was so hard to talk. It was so hard to do everything because uh, my teeth hurt so bad. And then I noticed that I started to get white spots on my nails. So I'm like, bruh, I haven't had a white spot on my nails since I was like in elementary school. What is going on? And on top of all that, I was fatigued like crazy. I could not stay up for more than five hours, y'all. I would be asleep for like 20 hours a day. That's what it seemed like. I would be asleep, wake up just to get something to eat, be exhausted, go back to sleep, wake up, eat dinner, and then probably stay up for like an hour or two and then go back to sleep. That's not me at all, okay? Something was wrong with me. So I'm like, bruh, bruh, what's going on with me? So I thought it was just like my sensitive teeth. So I started to buy sensitive teeth, like toothpastes, toothpaste, toothpaste, to pay to paces toothpastes toothpaste wow that's a weird ass word i started to buy sensitive toothpaste <laughs> and nothing was working so then i was like okay am i missing something and i went back to my emails and i was like bro what vitamins am i supposed to be taking like what am i supposed to be doing and i found out that they sent me a whole vitamin list that I completely ignored. And I was like, wow. It was like iron pills. It was this iron 
supplement liquid it was vitamin c and it was folic acid which is b9 and i was like i'm out here anemic so i searched it online and i was like bro i was putting in all my symptoms and it literally said that like my, my symptoms was like this and I, i'm talking so fast <laughs> especially like the sensitive teeth part and the white on the nails the, the fatigue everything i was feeling was linked to anemia and i remembered the doctor telling me that i lost a lot of blood i lost more blood than normal people so i was like i'm out here anemic as fuck i mean i bought some vitamin c okay these are the packets that you put in hot water then I bought this Floridix, which is a, which is an iron supplement. <sighs> then I bought my B9, my folic acid, and I took this two times a day for about maybe two weeks. And honey, my teeth got so much better. Like I can actually eat and it's not painful, it's not just horrific, <laughs> and I'm so happy. So, you guys, and then this, this is, you need vitamin C so that you can absorb iron. So you may be taking your iron supplements, but if you're not taking your vitamin C with it, it may not even be absorbing in your body. My massage lady told me to drink a whole bunch of green tea, right? Green tea was supposed to like um, soak up all the fluid in my stomach because you know, I just had lipo, so I had a lot of swelling, a lot of fluid, and green tea was supposed to take that down. Come to find out, drinking green tea blocks nutrients from entering your body. Green tea and coffee both block nutrients from entering your body so not only not only was i not taking what i needed even if i was taking my iron pills but i did have iron pills i was taking another type of iron pills at the time even though i was taking those iron pills i wasn't getting nothing from it because i was drinking like three or four cups of green tea a day man your girl okay was lost in the sauce so one thing that i will say is you guys if you are getting surgery please listen to the vitamins and the medicine that they tell you to take that they tell you to take because it's very important like it's not just some random flintstone vitamin like if they tell you to take flintstone vitamins take them because those doctors know what they're talking about especially iron you need iron you lose a lot of blood when you go through surgery so if you don't replenish that then you can start having symptoms and you can start having surgery complications it happened to me i don't want it to happen to y'all so thank you guys so much for watching this video i have a part two coming out um which is even worse than this video. So make sure you guys watch both and um, whew, good luck with y'all surgeries, man. I'll see y'all later. No time, no time for no f***ing love songs